Hey Kim and Kids, welcome back to another episode online. I hope you have had a great week. We're going to be looking at the next part of the book of James today. So if you want to turn in your Bibles to James chapter 3, verses 13 to 18. So it's only six verses what we're looking at today, but the word we're going to focus on is wisdom. So before we get any further, let's make sure we know what that word means. What is wisdom? So I went to look in the dictionary because it's always a good place to go if you don't know the definition of a word. And in the dictionary, wisdom means having the quality of experience, good judgment and knowledge. So three things combined to make you wise. Hmm. Well, let's find out what James has to say about true wisdom, and then we'll maybe get back to some of those words. So James chapter 3, verses 13 to 18, and this is what it says. Are those among you who are truly wise and understanding? Then they should show it by living right and doing good things with a gentleness that comes from wisdom. But if you are selfish and have bitter jealousy in your hearts, do not boast. Your boasting is a lie that hides the truth. That kind of wisdom does not come from God, but from the world. It is not spiritual. It is from the devil. Where jealousy and selfishness are, there will be confusion and every kind of evil. But the wisdom that comes from God is first of all pure, then peaceful, gentle and easy to please. This wisdom is always ready to help those who are troubled and to do good to others. It is always fair and honest. People who work for peace in a peaceful way plant a good crop of good living. Now, I wonder if you noticed in this passage that there are a lot of the fruits of the Spirit mentioned. And if you don't know what the fruits of the Spirit are, I suggest you go back to some of our previous episodes looking at the different fruits of the Spirit. Because wisdom and the fruits of the Spirit, well, they all come from God. So, of course, if you are wise, you will also show the fruit of the Spirit. But it also says that there is a different kind of wisdom, a wisdom that is not from God. And that's when people think they know they're doing something and actually they don't. Now, I want to give you an example of this. I hope you'll be able to see this on the camera. So here we go. Here is a nice jug full of hot water. If I come really close, hopefully you can see it. So it's all steamy. Do I rub my hand on it? Oh, yeah, you can see the steam rising up this. Now, knowledge is knowing that this is hot water. Okay, I know it's hot. I can see the steam. I can see like the little bubbles on the outside. So that's knowledge. Wisdom is taking that knowledge, knowing that it's hot and not doing anything silly with it, like putting my hand in it because I know that it's going to hurt. So that is the difference between knowledge and wisdom. And when we have the right knowledge, so like we know that this is hot water, when we know about God, when we read our Bible and ask questions about who he is and what he means to us, well, that means that our wisdom can come from the right place. If we are getting knowledge from different places, from the world, where we think some things are better than others and we don't always listen to what God wants us, well, that's not true wisdom. So that's what James is saying in this passage. He asks us to have true wisdom. So that's our word for this week, wisdom. Now I know this is a really short and sweet talk today because it's summertime and I want you to have a word that will stick with you through the busyness of whatever you're doing. So this week, let's be wise. Let's make sure our knowledge comes from God and let's use our actions to relate to it. Let's make sure that they link together. Well, join me next Sunday to look at the next section of the book of James. It should be a great one. And we'll have a new word to remember. So here is the memory verse for today. You can take your time and look at this verse especially. So hopefully you remember this word wisdom. And I hope I will see you next Sunday for the next part. See you then. Bye.